again. Welcome to In Focus. In 1992, more than 100 heads of state met for what was then an unprecedented global event on the environment. The International Earth Summit launched the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which eventually resulted in the Kyoto Protocol. For a pair of filmmakers, though, it also marked the beginning of a very successful environmental series. VOA's Rebecca Ward has that story. Hal and Marilyn Wiener have produced feature films, dozens of documentaries, and several television series. But their work on an environmental series called Journey to Planet Earth gives them a sense of personal satisfaction that cannot be measured in terms of dollars and cents. Well, making money is nice, but saving the environment, we came to understand is a little bit more important. So this has been our focus. And, um, and what we see are genuine um, um, uh, programs by grassroots people all over the world, all over Africa, things are happening in, in, in South Africa, things are happening in Kenya, things are happening um, in, in throughout Asia, throughout Europe, where people understand that there are problems and these problems can be solved by communities, community involvement. Through the television series, the Wieners aim to educate people about environmental pressures worldwide and how best to deal with them. Ultimately, they hope the programs will help people become better custodians of the earth. The best way to solve environmental problems, say the Wieners, is at the community level. One of the things we've focused on, for example, is in Kenya where we saw a couple, an NGO that started a small NGO that was um, planting grass to stop erosion with drought resistant strains of grass that could then be harvested and, and um, help a local community. And it was incredibly effective. In filming Journey to Planet Earth, the Wieners traveled to 22 countries on five continents. Marilyn Wiener says the idea of the series is to show examples of grassroots efforts that have made a difference, but not all of their experiences have been so positive. We did a segment at the RLC which perhaps may be the greatest um, environmental disaster ever. The RLC is drying up. Uh, what's worse is that um, the, um, the air quality, because of what's happened to the RLC, has made that part of Uzbekistan probably have the highest rates of tuberculosis and lung disease in the world. That was a moment that we recognized this is a, you know, this is a serious problem. And then we went, and based upon what we learned at the RLC, we went to the Salton Sea, which is just outside of, Salt, uh, uh, of Palm Springs, and having the same problem, right here in our own backyard. It's real plus 20. And here we are 20 years, almost 20 years later, from the first show that we did for the Earth Summit, and as as gratifying it is, as Hal just explained, in terms of the grassroots level, but in terms of solving the problems 20 years later, we haven't really made as much progress as we should have. And that's somewhat disheartening. With a worldwide audience of 40 million people, the Wieners have so far produced 13 episodes of Journey to Planet Earth. Ultimately, our story is really about why the Wieners credit Hollywood actor Matt Damon for helping bring the series to the attention of a younger audience. To quote Hal Wiener, the answer to the environmental movement is young people. He says they will be the ones to save the planet. Rebecca Ward, VOA News.